When you want to migrate an existing curator and install it, say that you have a 726 uh, and you want to move, uh, for example, to 7.3 or from 7.3 to 7.3.1, etc., there are SFS files that you just mount the, the, the file, run an installer, and it automatically knows how to migrate the whole thing very nicely. I have used that many times and I have not had any problems with it. Now, when you need to move the content of a particular system into another of the very same characteristics, let's say that for DR purposes, for disaster recovery, I want to move all the content of system 1 into system 2, that's where the backup recovery feature uh, comes very handy. But again, it has to be this very same version. Now, what I'm going to be showing today is the steps that you need to take to migrate, uh, like I did, I migrated my demo system from 7 to 8 and to uh, 7.3. And all the content uh, of this, the, this file with all the steps that I'm going to be describing in a minute, as well as the actual content of my demo system, uh, including the, the log sources and and the scripts to uh, replay the, those and the pickups are provided in a link, in a box, whose link appears in the video description. So to migrate specific parts of a system, one, into system B, uh, and and, the, and they can be, uh, of course, uh, of different, the same of different uh, versions of system. That's what you use the content management tool, the CMT. Okay. Now, in the CMT, the nomenclature uh, for different components, and here I have some. Uh, the word search is for uh, migrating safe searches. Custom rules, of course, is for rules, uh, functional groups, uh, custom properties. Sensor device is for uh, log sources, device extension, reference data with, it, with it content can also be moved. Custom function, custom action, custom script actions, the one that I show in some videos that allows you to tell Big Fix, hey, quarantine this box so when an offense fires. And, and even install application can be moved. And there are more components than these. You can migrate dashboards, I mean, the whole thing. And, and But I'm going to show you what I did in order to migrate the content of my demo into a clean uh, 730. It doesn't have to be clean, but in my case, I installed 73 patch 7 and I um, migrated all these. So you can actually migrate all at once but that will be like a big file. You, so I'm going to show you a little bit of granularity on how to do these things. So the first thing that you need to do is export the content. For example in this particular case my save searches. So I use the word you know the content type search and I export using this command uh, and invokes the content management tool um, and that generates this particular file that we showed in here. We did the same with custom rules and, and you can read the rest. Uh, groups, custom properties. So the first part is really actually to export these and these, are, these files are not big at all. These are small files. Uh, and, and you produce uh, that, that content, right? Now once you have done all that, what you need to do is to move those files into the target uh, curator system. In my case, I uh, use uh, FileZilla to actually move those. And then you start invoking these commands in here. Again, the content management tool with the option of doing the import. You specify the file, which is the one that was created on the steps above and you run them. In my case I only run those that appears with those asterisks in there because I you know didn't want to move uh, you know not all the things and also this content management tool is actually quite clever it knows 
and it finds dependency. For example, when you export a rule, and let's say that that rule uses reference sets, and it uses some log sources, and it knows how to actually grab all those components and put it into that zip file. So when you migrate it to the other system, when you import it into the other system, all those things are also added as well. It's very, very clever. Now, some of these things, for example, the custom rules, because I have a lot of rules that I've been creating over the years, uh, and all its dependencies it takes a great deal of time to be import, exported and then imported, right? And what I did is when I run these uh, content management uh, uh, commands, I use the option dash D for debug. And I do that, it's not necessary, but it's a good way for me to see the progress of what is going. Think of it as a Pushman progress bar. So I can, uh, so I, because, for example, when I was first running the, the import for my custom rules, I thought that the program got, was stuck because it was taking uh, too long. And with the option D, you can actually see what it's actually doing. After you've done that, if the, if the, Content management tool have not done that for you. You may be required to deploy changes. Finally, I took all the scripts and all the uh, pickups and log sources and stuff that I've been using over these years, and I put it into a zip file and I unzip that in the target machine. And the end result of that is that I have very nicely all my uh, uh, rules, all the fantastic rules that uh, I've been uh, doing with uh, Mutas and, and 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 many other uh, of many other peers that have contributed, uh, and and many other uh, rules that comes uh, and I have used or modified uh, from the original curator are now being moved. I replay those uh, those logs and those pickups and I, you know everything is working very very nicely. Now there is also an option to move the installed applications like the ones that I have here you know Watson, Pulse, Big Fix and, and many others you may have. However, I, in my experimenting, I, I found out that that's not probably the best thing to do. I mean, these applications are so easy to install that it's a lot uh, faster to just go download the zip file and add it into your system. And the second reason is that uh, when you move them, even with the CMT tool, you will have to put uh, uh, authorization tokens, credentials, and so you may need to reconfigure most of those apps. So the step of actually migrating the apps, I would recommend you to download them again and, and, and don't do it uh, using the CMT tool. Now, uh, this is not meant to be a tutorial on CMT. This is a very capable and smart uh, uh, application uh, and one thing that I will do in a subsequent video is to show you, well, let's say I want to migrate this particular use case that involves uh, a rule with it, all its dependencies. I'm going to create a short video that show you how you actually selectively move that part only. I encourage you to get uh, uh, to, to know this uh, CMT tool, very powerful. And again, all this uh, material is available on the link that appears in the video description.